Hello Capricorn and welcome to your hump day reading. Thank you so much for your likes, your subscribes, your sharing. I really appreciate it. Please, if you like it, if it resonates, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, if it doesn't resonate, you can give me a thumbs down. But thank you either way for being here Capricorn. I appreciate it. So what else does Capricorn need to know? I'm going to do some tarot cards, and we're going to finish off with a Romance Angel Oracle card. Anything else for Capricorn? Okay. Let's see here. They're telling me done, so that one's done. Okay. Let's see what you started out with. Got the High Priestess. Okay. This talks about spirituality, about your using your intuition, and sometimes not knowing the truth. And it, it's so funny because to me, it's I, I see here, and this the black column makes me think of not knowing, and the gray column is makes me think of thinking you know. It's like this weird like combination, but you have to use your intuition, I think here, and I guess we'll see. The next thing you got was. Ending the burdens. Ten of Wands is putting down the burdens. So, let's see. The Devil. The Devil is the Capricorn card. You show up in your own reading. Um, it's also toxic behavior. And you got the Seven of Cups. Wow. So, to me, this is just, this is you being strongly present in this reading. That, um... The high priestess, I feel like there's something you didn't know, but you got to let go of it. But I think it caused you some confusion. And uh, I want to say the devil actually was like, almost like you causing you problems. You know, created this burden, made you think about a lot of things. Let's see. Some clarity, please, for uh, clarifying some cards for uh, Capricorn. Help clarify this reading. Clarify? <laughs> Did you ever say a word and you say it and you know you said the word for the right sounding word, but you're wondering? Yeah. Any other cards for Capricorn? No. Stop. Wow. Four of Cups. See, there's something, see, there's something you're not seeing. It's almost... See, the Four of Cups is, let me see, this card can be read a few different ways. Let's see. Yeah, a hand descends from the cloud to offer a fourth. You're jaded or bored. Perhaps a bad experience has caused you to withdraw. So maybe you're just bored. Which, if you look at this, looks to me like you you're trying you're letting go of this burden of not knowing which was causing you some misery and confusion and you're just kind of stuck where you are and you're stagnating and I think that's what this is and it's really funny because the seven of cups it could be confusion but it also could be you know like cloudy thinking you know you're just not clear and I think that that four of cups is you just kind of stagnating Let's see, let's see, anything else? So we're getting some more cards, Capricorn. Okay, whoa. Okay, I'm gonna stop, got this, and then this, then this, and then this. So, well, we have good news for you, Capricorn, because you are definitely dropping the burden. All that confusion and feeling stagnant and a little bored with what's going on, you have an offer coming in, Ace of Pentacles. And let's see, Queen of Rods. This is a passion. Someone knows what they want, but it's, I always do screw with the Queen of, the Queen cards always throw me, God knows why, but they do. And the Queen of Rods, she's the one that soothes the savage beasts. She, uh, 
you know, the cat is nice and calm, laying on her lap. Uh, the Sunshine Lady brings light and love to the people around her. Consummate hostess, tireless worker for charity. So there's a offer possibly from this generous person. And then we have the Hierophant, which symbolizes conformity. Um, we're teaching. There are two here. So Seven of Swords, feeling like you've you've won, but you it's not really a peaceful resolution. And a new start, the Fool. So I feel like there was something at work. There was some kind of burden at work because that's, that's what it's hitting me here. I don't know if you noticed, but the, the, the moon is actually stuck under her cape or whatever you want to call it. And there's pomegranates. I can't remember what the pomegranates mean. She has a two card. But let's see here. I feel like there's something you don't know or didn't know. And you, you have to just let it go because I feel like it's not doing good things for you. I think that whatever was going on was causing you some confusion and making you feel stagnant or stuck at work. Although you didn't realize that it wasn't as, I really feel that, you know, if you're looking at three cups and there's, there's one being generously given, there's something you're missing that, you know, everything could have been fine, but you still were not happy you were carrying this burden i don't think it was a necessary burden but there is an offer coming that's going to take you away from this possibly from the queen of rods and i feel like the hierophant represents a company i feel like you're going to move from where you're working and you're going to get a new start but it doesn't look like you're going to be happy about it. I mean, he, he looks, I don't know. He's smirking. It's like, I got what I needed out of this. So I'm just going to move along. I don't know. It's just a bad feeling. I don't know. I feel like I should be happier about this, but I'm not. Because I mean, you go from all this uncomfortableness to this, and this should be good. Hmm. Capricorn. It's almost like the place where you're working now does not fulfill you. And it, I, maybe the Four of Cups means that no matter what they give you at this point, you're never going to get past feeling burdened. And you're never going to know the whole truth anyway. So you're better off to go on your own. And I think that you are good enough in what you do to get another offer. Maybe this is how you present yourself. Maybe that's the queen of wands, you know? If you're really good at what you do, or if you're very good at, you know, putting it out there, maybe you teach what you do, or maybe you move to another corporation, institution, whatever, because the Hierophant can represent uh, conventional uh, things like that. And then the Seven of Swords is winning, but, it, and it could also be lying, cheating, and stealing, but I don't see lying and cheating and stealing here unless the devil is this, which I don't think so. I think that's just you standing in your power in this, you know, owning who you are. So, okay, Capricorn, sorry. So, but the fool is a new start. You've got everything you need. You don't need anything else except for that little tiny bag because you already have all the knowledge you need to walk away from this job and get another one. So good luck, Capricorn. Just keep in mind, don't just up and quit. I'm just a tower reader. Do your due diligence. Get another job before you move on, okay? Be prepared. So let's see. We're getting you a Romance Angel Oracle card now, Capricorn. Romance Angel Oracle card for Capricorn. Now, interestingly enough, Pisces got one that actually fit in with their work reading. Ah, forgiving and learning. 
As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. That's interesting, Capricorn, because that's almost like saying, you know, if you release the past and learn from what happened at this other job, when you go to the next one, you'll be much happier and you'll do much better. <laughs> so once again, strangely enough, the Romance Angel Oracle of Hearts are answering the call to work. <laughs> so thank you so much for being here. Good luck, Capricorn. And don't forget, take time for you. Bye.